Hello and welcome back. We are going to continue in this playlist with a couple of examples of linear regulators using discrete components, both shunt and series. So here we have another regulating circuit, and let's go ahead and analyze it and see what are some of the advantages compared to the ones that we already covered in the previous videos. So in terms of an analysis, we have an unregulated input here, and we are trying to provide at a lower voltage a stiff regulated steady input. Okay, uh, sorry, output. So as long as we have enough current flowing through R3, we can see that the current into the operation amplifier is going to be zero, ideally, very small. And so we're going to get a sinner current, which is going to bias the sinner diode in the reverse breakdown region and establish a reference sinner voltage here of Vc, which is the voltage that we have at the inverting terminal of the operation amplifier. This is Vc. Now, if we have negative feedback in operation amplifier, the output of the operation amplifier is going to do anything it can in order to, and we do have negative feedback, there is a path from the output back to the uh, inverting input. It's going to do everything it can to make sure that the two terminals of the operational amplifier input terminals, the inverting and the non-inverting inputs, equal each other. They're very close to each other, actually. And so in this case, therefore, we have that the non-inverting input is going to be equal to the inverting input, and this is going to be VC. And if that's VC, we and we have a voltage divider network here, we are going to say that this also, and this is the output voltage, is equal to R1 divided by R1 plus R2 times V output voltage, or if you solve for the output voltage, you find that the output voltage is 1 plus R2 over R1 times the sinner voltage. So, similar to the design that we did in the previous video, which is this one, where the output also could be, once we establish a, a sinner voltage as a reference, we are able to control the output and amplify it. This is the same thing here. So we can have R2 to now create a power supply for any voltage we want, or a steady voltage, fixed voltage, that is an amplified version of the sinner voltage. Okay. So over here, this is what we have. The output voltage is a non-inverting amplified version of the sinner voltage. The biasing current is still the input over the input minus the output, this is IS, divided by RS, and this needs to be enough to provide both the load current as well as the current to bias the, the circuit. And the output current, therefore, is V output over RL. Now, one advantage of this circuit is that it has intrinsic short circuit protection. What do we mean by that? If we were to short the output, like accidentally, we are not going to damage any components and we are limiting the output current. What is the output current if we short this? Well, the output now will be equal to zero. And so the load current will be equal to V input minus zero divided by RS. So we can select RS also to provide, based on the input, a maximum load current. Thank you.